what's up you guys after show reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more marvel's agents of shield this is season four episode 20 uh and it is titled farewell cruel world um yeah let's get into it and remember even Ten if days ago. are going haywire do not do not pull you out or wake you up i know Cook so, your like huevo roto. does this mean that, that they've been in the framework for 10 days? Just and has it been 10 days for them? Back, okay? I promise. So what's next? We wait. Zephyr's got 24 hours till it runs out of power. We can't wait anymore. We need to touch down and refuel. Let's not have this conversation again. Okay, we don't know who we can trust at S.H.I.E.L.D. and the government... Talba's been trying to reach us. Maybe it's time we talk to him. You've seen what they're saying in the news. We're lucky they haven't shot us out of the sky. And if they turn off the framework... That thing's draining all our power. We must find something else to turn off. We already shut off all non-essential functions. Including the heat. Wait, what about the cloaking? Bad idea. Cloaking is the only thing that's keeping us safe up here. Wait, so is that how he finds them? Do it. Because they turn off the cloaking? Madam Hydra has dispatched all available units to clean up the streets. Madam Hydra's executive order is in response She's not to subtle, night. that Madam Hydra. Yeah, just look at her uniform. It's so crazy hot. I, I mean, if you're into the whole bad girl vibe. Trip. <laughs> oh my god. So good to see you. Hey, person I don't know. Right. Yeah, sorry, I... I heard about your mission. Radcliffe gave me the coordinates of the framework's back door. So I just need to get everyone there. Which won't be easy. What with May and Mac having no idea what's really happening. Well, it fits as Hydra guards around him at all times. What? Simmons, we can't rescue Fitz right now. There's no time. We can't just leave him behind. He's part of our team. And the current head of Hydra. The Fitz yeah, but you can't us dead. leave him. I know that it's not his fault, but that is the reality that we are living in. If we don't get Coulson, me, and Mac out of here, Ada will kill all of them. We need you. So, where does this mission end? Dad, don't be embarrassing. Well, how is asking a question embarrassing? Because Daisy went to jail after what you did. It wasn't exactly his fault. You're just saying that because you escaped and kicked Madame Hydra's... Don't you dare say it. But Rear. Pooper. Salt shaker. Money maker. Ass. Hey! <laughs> okay, all right. You're not being a really good influence right now. Come on, Dad. She's the biggest hero in S.H.I.E.L.D. You have to say yes. Okay. What if I told you this whole world isn't real? That it's just a simulation meant to keep us imprisoned? I'd say you need to be medicated. And up until a week ago, I would have agreed with you. Crafted a lot of soap trying to stay sane. Then Daisy Johnson showed <laughs> so me to leave again. Did you say crafted soap? Forget that. It would make sense I'll if she oppressive government like was the hardest mind prison to would change the mind the because Certainly she's been in here longest or agent sky tell me what you and sky were discussing yesterday oh we spoke of many things our favorite breads hers brioche mine home big pumpernickel <laughs> where she headed you're afraid it's weird he's been in containment for like a couple of days or whatever but i feel like daisy was beat up a bit more than he was reality but if that's true they'll destroy this world killing you along with it better dead than alive in this miserable place and the other place your world is far too late for that i'm already dead over there thanks to your psychotic girlfriend murdering me in cold blood what if I told you there was a way to be reborn without a machine in the other world, which can transfer human consciousness into an organic body? This machine can build you a body in the other world. You can have a second life or a third or however many you want. That's up to you. Why would he want one? He's got nothing to live for. Immortality. If that sort of thing appeals to you, yeah. Daisy's looking for a way out. Really? Leopold Fitz? 
the doctor. I understand he's done some bad things here, but something must have changed him because the Fitz I know is a kind, caring person, someone who helps people. Doesn't sound like any Fitz I've ever met, father or son. How do you know Fitz's father? Everyone at Hydra knows Alistair Fitz. Those two are inseparable. That's what I'd have changed for Fitz. You're going to help me fix this. Uh, Gemma? Yeah, you, May, Mac, and Coulson were all part of our team in the other world. So, that's why you were so happy to see me. You and I, we must have, uh, you know. Dated? Yeah. Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> right, me and Simmons, we probably. No. Nope. Oh, that she did a crush on you. Damn. And this is really a place you want to go back to. Easy, playboy. Right now we have to round up Simmons and the rest of the team. <laughs> yeah, she's back yet. What's this really all about? Fitz is in danger. Nonsense. He's the top man in Hydra. You don't understand. Ada. Madame Hydra has put forces into motion no army can protect him from. Is this something to do with this machine that Leopold was working on? It will kill everyone Fitz cares about. Call him. Tell him to come here, alone. Why? So you can blow his brains out? Did you never I do that? I never hurt him. I only want to talk. Yes, Father. Listen to me very carefully, son. You know I've always loved you. Please, just do as I say, and everything will work itself out. The fugitive is here. Bring all your men. Stupid man, you're going to get us all killed. The only one dying today. It's you. Ah. Ah. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh. Hello? Okay. Dad. You told her? It came up in conversation. How does the existence of an alternate reality come up in, in casual conversation? I'd like to think it's because we were bonding, though I don't really want to speak for her. You're really not helping. Clear! One down. Uh... Round up the men. It's our canvas in the neighborhood. That won't be necessary. Excuse me, sir? I'm sure the future tip's gone by now, but it doesn't matter. We know where she's going. Get the men back on the Zephyr. You're gonna lead me to Gemma Simmons, where it's my intent to put a bullet through her skull. No, you're gonna look in those eyes and be like, Hey, girl. I remember you. Raiders attacking Russian SU-27 headed our way. Ivanov, we should have stayed cloaked. You think? Yeah. We need to defend ourselves. How do we do that? We got anti-aircraft guns, but without power, we can't control them. Damn it, man. Those girls better get the hell out of that dream world that we're all going down with them. You okay? I was trying to say Fitz. Please tell me that's not his blood. No, it's from his father. I, I killed him. That's, that's okay. Fitz's dad is just an avatar. He didn't kill anyone. He just made some ones and zeros disappear. But Fitz won't come with us now. We've lost him. No, we haven't. We will figure something out, but first we have to get back to the real world before Ada makes us disappear. Okay? We've just received orders from Madame Hydra to abort the mission. Message received. Instruct Jennings to reroute this plane. Do no such thing. We will return only after my father's murder has been found. Is that understood? Yes, sir. My apologies. The backdoor exit point's programmed to be in a city park, not some steel mill. What's going on here? Seems Madame Hydra's a step ahead of you again. She's made a few modifications. I guess this means goodbye. I can come with, if you want. But you're needed here. Ward can't be the only one leading the fight. And just because Mace is gone doesn't mean the Patriot has to be. Maybe it's your turn to suit up. People could use another Patriot to look up to. Not gonna lie, I look pretty damn fine in that suit. <laughs> yeah, he would. Coffee, Bridgetown. Just up ahead. 
Let's just put his consciousness into the body right. that ate him. Nothing about this is what I want. Right. His pal, digital hell. Radcliffe said the back door was in a public fountain, not some creepy steel mill. If only the exit beacon I brought to this world worked, we wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, well, if we're gonna get out of here, this is our last chance. This can't be it. The coordinates lead right there. Into a pool of molten steel? The back door is part of the framework's digital infrastructure. It can't be moved. But it could be concealed. Uh -oh.